People talk about the U.S. trade deficit with China a lot, but what is it really? The U.S. imported $463 billion in goods and services from China in 2016 and exported $116 billion. Do the math. Subtract imports from exports and you get a U.S. deficit of $347 billion. U.S. President Donald Trump says based on this data, China is beating the U.S. in trade. But the picture is a lot more complicated than these numbers suggest. The WTO says 40% of China's manufacturing exports to the United States included parts and components produced in other countries, but delivered to China for final assembly. Economists call these exports intermediary products. According to Oxford University, if we take out the value of these imported components from the Chinese exports, it would cut the size of the U.S. trade deficit with China by half. It would be roughly equivalent to the U.S. trade deficit with the European Union. Let's look at an example. To produce the iPhone 3 back in 2009, Chinese manufacturers used around $11 worth of parts imported from U.S. companies, and just over $172 worth of components from at least three other countries too. Completed units were then shipped back to the United States for around $180. Apple's markup was more than triple that, selling the iPhone 3 for $600. And what did the Chinese companies earn? About $8, or just 1% of the retail price. While Apple and other American companies received nearly 70% of the value. According to the U.S. media, U.S. trade data shows nearly the full import value of an iPhone belonging to China. That inflates the size of the U.S. trade deficit with China. Global supply chains make U.S. trade figures misleading. They show where products are imported from, but don't show who benefits from the trade.